water sampling is underway on the west bank of Orleans Parish after a 30-inch water main broke in Algiers this morning. It prompted the city of New Orleans to issue yet another boil water advisory. And while it is precautionary, it's causing a lot of headaches for residents. Jade Cunningham joins us now live with more. Jade? Well, good evening, Natalie and Ton. It does appear that crews are making some headway. We got here. They were pumping water out from this water main break, but those pumps have been turned off. There is, though, some big equipment. They have lights set up, and it does appear they have brought in maybe possibly some new piping. So that is a little bit of good news, but it does seem that maybe they have a long night ahead of them. The cause of this water main break is still unknown at this time, but as you can see, it's created quite the mess, and residents tell me they just hope this mess is fixed quickly. Frustrated, angry, and aggravated, all words used to describe the water main break on Wall Boulevard. I have a two-year-old daughter and I have a 16-year-old son at home with me, and it's just inconveniencing us of our everyday living. Residents nearby noticed a drop in pressure early Tuesday morning. As many left their homes, this is horrible. They quickly saw why. The street was flooded, <laughs> and that's all I, I could tell that a water main had burst. I had to bring my baby to school, and it's like my car is swimming in water. Crews pumped water for hours, trying to gain access to the broken pipe. Showers? Mm, we're going to have to boil water, sit in the tub. By about two, the break had dropped pressure in other parts of the West Bank, which is when the sewerage and water board announced residents needed to start boiling water. And it's disruption for everyone, but it is what it is. Steve Mann is one of few who doesn't seem to mind taking precautions, saying it's better to be safe than sorry. These pipes have a tendency to have a little bit of everything in there. He even thought two steps ahead, saving his own water just in case. Any weather come up, I'm ready. By Tuesday night, the advisory was still in place. It's a lot of us affected. With little to no water, residents say they're turning their attention to the sewerage and water board, demanding change. It takes you off. No water. The bill's not going to go down any. Possibly going to go up because they're going to blame the, the rupture up here. I don't know what's going on with the system of sewage and water bowl lately, but the past, since the freeze, it's been horrible. I just hope they fix the problem. Well, I spoke with multiple people in this area who have that same concern. They're worried their water bill will go up as a result of this water main break. Now, whether you have water or not, this precautionary boil advisory is in effect still, which means you can't drink the water, make ice. Officials are really encouraging people to use boiled water to bathe with. And, of course, you want to stay with Eyewitness News as this story continues to develop. Reporting live, Jay Cunningham, Eyewitness News.